Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Welcome if y'all are new here. It's your girl Jazz. This is Earth Vibes Tarot and we are a Capricorn only channel but you are all very welcome here to the messages. Sit back, relax, take a chance, smash your like buttons, leave a comment down below. If you would like to do so, just don't forget to make sure that you all are subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. We're taking a look at blessings that are coming in here for you Capricorn. The blessings that are coming in for you, Capricorn, end of November into December. Life purpose, life purpose, stepping into your life purpose, stepping onto this path, expansion. Wow. Wow. Talent. Talent. Really? Some of you are, oh my God. Oh, hot damn. This is my jam. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Talent. Talent. This is what you are meant to do. This is where you're supposed to be. You have kind of, you've, you've pulled the sword out of the stone. Look at you. Talent, compassion, travel. Yeah, this is, for some of you, this is just on a higher level in which you were already doing something. For some of you, you're actually cracking into, stepping into, breaking through to this energy, this life purpose, this mission, this as above, so below, consciously expanding and then physically expanding. In Capricorn, this is something that you've been being guided to do being guided to step into it's really bringing you a sense of happiness a sense of joy it's an energy of fulfillment that comes from a deeper place right it's an energy of fulfillment that comes from a deeper place that you may not even be able to understand or explain right with your words you have the energy of beware and the energy of the key the key states new beginnings direction and adventures await those ready to let go of the past yeah i'm gonna be very honest this beware energy is gonna be linked directly to the past there's always gonna be something from the past that comes up that tries to pull you um in the direction that you really don't need to be or in the direction that you need to go let's take a look here at this Stepping into new beginnings, you are unlocking this door, Capricorn. You've been given the key. And it's it's like you've always had the key, but maybe you finally see the door. Maybe you finally are becoming aware of what this is. This is number 15, breaking down to a six. This is a very harmonious energy, but there was some sort of change that led to this, right? And whatever this change that is leading to this new beginning there is past energy um, connected to it. And the past is also connected to these people, past people, past energies, friends, family, loved ones, you know, those that don't necessarily have your best interest at heart and they don't want to see you kind of going past them or even just leaving them, right? People don't want to be left behind or feel left behind or feel like they're not involved with or a part of. And, you know, it just... It's sad, but it, it kind of is that way. And they can make, try to make people feel bad, this, that, and the third. And that can really affect those who are trying to do things that are best for themselves here. And with the world, you know, allow yourself to be open to these new possibilities, Capricorn. Yeah, because something is coming in quite fast. Eight of Wands, there's a really fast, momentous change here that you're experiencing. And I feel like this is in your thoughts, your ideas, you may have, you may be coming up with new ideas, plans for certain things. And it's, it's really allowing you to see things in a different light. You have the three of cups, the wheel of fortune and the six of swords. There's some sort of celebratory energy here as well. Some sort of celebratory energy here as well, but I'm going to be honest the celebratory energy, it feels a little bit underhanded. It feels a little bit undermined because I'm going to be honest. I don't feel like these people are quite happy for your transition. They're not really happy for where you're going, especially with that that energy of the Six of Swords there. I feel like this is more... Um, 
more connected to that energy of beware. It doesn't have to be, but it I, I, I'm getting that. Like I'm I really, really, really am getting that. Nine of Cups, the magician, and uh justice. This is something that you've manifested into your life. This is something that you've worked really, really, really hard for. This is something of wish fulfillment, something that you enjoy, Capricorn. And to be honest with you, this is something that you deserve. And this is moving you in a new direction. With this life purpose energy, the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords, there is a complete 180 that's happening here. So it may come off very different. It may be a little bit uncomfortable at first. You may experience different emotions in the in the wake of sadness, um, you know, missing, you know, the past energy even. Why? Because... It's what you were used to, Capricorn. Let's keep going. With the key here in the energy of beware, tell us more. You've got the four of swords. <clears throat> I feel like you're receiving a lot of these messages in your dreams at night. You may even be meditating and receiving this energy, this information. It's definitely while you are... Um, at rest and I feel like this is when you are receiving the most clarity here in your life and I feel like it's important for you to listen to that to listen to that energy to listen to that information with the seven of cups because there can be a lot of chaos that surrounds you there can be a lot of confusion a lot of wonder an energy that isn't necessarily there for your benefit as well and we have the ace of cups Do not, Capricorn, <laughs> there's a lot of fantastical energy that's coming in here as well. And sometimes the past can come through in a very fantastical way, pulling us in the direction in which we know we're not supposed to go. So allow yourself to really stay focused on this Ace of Cups energy, focused on this new inspired and fresh energy, this new beginning that's coming into your life. Allow yourself to really experience it. Allow yourself to go after it because sometimes, especially with this Three of Cups here, Three of Cups, Seven of Cups, there's this energy of discontentment that's coming in it's almost like again that three of cups i was i'm telling you it's like it feels very like devious in a way it's like trying to get you to um to see what you're missing like this is this is this is life is better on this side this is what you're supposed to be doing but really you feel called to move into a new direction and it's like allow yourself to do that, allow yourself to go into the direction in which you are being called because it, it really does feel Capricorn like you know exactly where where your love in your heart lies. You know exactly where this happiness lies. You see it, you're being offered it, you're being granted it. But sometimes, you know, that past coming in can make other things seem more enticing, even though it isn't. Right. Bottom of the deck here is the hangman, the queen of cups and the king of cups. Ooh, Capricorn, it's time to really find the sense of balance in your emotions and in your feelings, how you feel. It's, it's a, a big, mature energy here, a very, very big, mature energy. Three of Pentacles, High Priestess, King of Pentacles. What do you truly want, Capricorn? We're going to clarify this a little bit. We're going to clarify this a little bit. All right. Now, we are going to take a little interim. So if you guys are still here, make sure you put that black cat emoji or your blue butterfly emoji down in the, the comment section. I love you guys. I appreciate you so, so much for your time, your energy, and your support. So let's go ahead and keep going into the message. I want to dig here just kind of a little. Look at this. Page of Pentacles. The moon. There's a lot of deep, um, deep intuitive thought that's going in here, trying to understand. There's a lot of like of unconscious energy that's trying to be processed as well. 
Page of Pentacles and the Moon. And I'm going to be honest, that moon energy coming out with the four swords, it's very dreamy, it's very imaginative, and it's like these patterns kind of repeating and running in one's head, keeping, like, even at rest, like I'm telling you, especially with this eight of wands, like there's a lot of just like thought and movement pattern. And it's about breaking cycles, doing something new, doing things different. And not allowing, again, the past to come back in, Nine of Swords. Because I feel like a lot of the times, um, you know, this happens in, in things that we don't tell people, but at night, a lot. Uh, not necessarily your dreams, but the thoughts that you're having, the thoughts that could be blocking or trying to get you to second guess this Queen of Wands energy, this creative energy, this power energy that you're trying to give off for yourself. Tell us about this Three of Cups here. Tell us about this Three of Cups here for Capricorn. Tell us about the Three of Cups. You have the Three of Wands. Yeah, again, I'm getting this, like, look at what you're missing over here. Page of Cups, there's this friendship energy. There's this intuitive energy. The High Priestess, Two of Cups, the Fool. Again, for some reason, it's like I... Like, you know the direction in which you're supposed to go in. You know where you're supposed to be headed. You know that this is good for you. Like, you just you just have this knowing, Capricorn. And I absolutely love this. Tell us about this Ace of Cups. You have the world and the Ace of Wands. This is going to be something for you to celebrate. This is something huge, Capricorn. This is, again, like the blessing of the decade. This is something that you've been waiting to obtain. This is something that you've been waiting to come in. This could be something that's taking you in a new direction, taking your business, taking your career, just taking your life in a totally new direction here. You're expanding, you're growing, um, and it's all for the better. This is making you the best version of you that you can be. And you're taking on this new divine guided opportunity that opportunity, excuse me, excuse me, that you know is best for you. That you know is gonna bring you to that point that you need to be, that you want to be. Again, bottom of the deck is that high priestess, that two of cups and the fool. You know exactly what you want to do. You want to take this leap of faith. You want to take this chance. You want to go after this opportunity that's blessing you with this life purpose. Again, whether it's expanding what you're already doing or getting you and breaking you through the door onto that path, Capricorn. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's grab... The Lenormand Kipper combo. Let's grab a couple of a couple of messages here, please, Spirit. Wow. For some of you, this is a relationship, marriage, a connection, a commitment. For some of you, this is it just involves another person or other people. Number 29 is the woman. This could be you or the person that you're involved with. There's feminine energy here. There's love. There's truth. Wow. And the lilies. It's 29 and then 30. It's the king and the ace with marriage. It almost feels like somebody is finally making the proposal, making the gesture.
because they know this is divinely guided. They know that this is what they're supposed to be going after. And whether even if this is you, Capricorn, coming out as this feminine energy, it's the maturity, it's the stance, it's the understanding and the knowing and the wanting and willingness to sign of contracts and to take yourself to that next level by doing so. You have the fox, the main male, and the child. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> the the masculine meets the feminine i love it i'm leaving this here capricorn i hope you all found this insightful if you did smash that like button leave a comment down below and i'll speak to you all in the next reading